The Israeli media continue to ignore Arab voices. That's according to a new index published by website Seventh Eye. It finds that only 2% of interviewees in the Israeli media are Arabs, although they make up 20% of the population. And here to discuss the absence of uh, Arab voices, we're going to have uh, two Israeli Jews having this conversation. Oren Persico, a researcher from Seventh Eye, welcome. Uh, we gave there the headline. Uh, let's uh, take a little bit more uh, detail about what the statistics and findings that you have. Well, we've been uh, researching this issue uh, in depth for the past three years. It's a project that we're uh, doing with uh, Sikui, an NGO, and we're actually counting all the Arab interviewees in Israeli mainstream media. And as so you're watching all the media interviews, all the TV, all the radio? Yeah, well, not us specifically. We use uh, a research company called Ifat. Okay. We analyze the data, and what we're trying to do is bring this data to the uh, reporters and to the editors who decide who to invite on their TV and radio shows so, so, so they know that they're not doing their job as uh, they this should. this 2% figure, is that 2% of unique interviewees, like 2% of the people from the total pool, or 2% of media appearances? It's 2% of all the people who talk in the different uh, news programs in Israeli TV and radio, we're not counting the journalists themselves. Like you would not be counted, right. and I would not be counted because I'm Jew. Uh, but I'm so a so Jew, we're not talking media appearances. We're talking no. people on on the guest list. On the guest list, but also if there is a news item about something happening in Yafo and this, uh, they take a sink from someone on the street, he would be counted as well. Uh, so, okay, but so look, if we're talking about the num total number of guests rather than the number of media appearances, it's possible that we have a very small booking list, but they're appearing on the news more, you know, that, 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 than numbers would suggest, no? Yeah, but that's not, you know, if, if, you're, if you are a news uh, TV channel Maybe some people or are just a radio doing a lot show, of media legwork. Yeah, but if, if you want to, to give the public information about what's going on in Israel, you cannot uh, invite on your shows a disproportionate number of Jews and uh, put out all the people who are Arab, Muslims, Christians. You, you cannot give a satis satisfying uh, world view when you're ignoring 20% of the population. And so what do you think the reasons for this are? Well, first of all, there is a conflict between Jews and Arabs. It's been going on for a century. And most of the TV anchors and editors are Jews. Uh, second of all, there is the fact that uh, uh, Arabs are, you know, English is not my mother tongue. And I hesitated a bit before coming here you're and doing a great speaking job. in English. But imagine if you're an Arab and Hebrew is not your mother tongue mm. and most of the Israeli public doesn't want to see someone with a different accent. Uh, another fact is that um, a lot of Arab interviewees are afraid that they'll be mistreated, that they would be, uh, they would be asked to uh, defend or represent the mm. entire Arab society in Israel and not be treated just as a private citizen. Okay, well, much work to do in order to improve uh, diversity in the media or in particular.